How's it going? Hopefully everyone's having an awesome day because I am. It's Thursday. It's nice and sunny outside here in Austin, Texas. Um, can't say the same thing for next week, but it's going to be nice and sunny today. With that being said, we're going to go over, go over some things. We're going to go over this interesting turn of events, which I find hilarious. I, I do. I do find this hilarious. And I'm not saying it's because it's Trump related, but because it's hilarious. It really is. So let's get to it. According to the title, Trump's 14th Amendment political challenger arrested on federal tax charges. John Anthony Castro, owner of Castro and Company, LLC, has been indicted on 33 counts of filing fraudulent tax returns. Castro allegedly generated false documents without taxpayers' knowledge to obtain higher refunds and refused to meet in person without a $5,000 retainer. If convicted, Castro could face up to 99 years in prison. He denies any wrongdoing and claims the case is politically motivated. Now, this is a Republican who was attempting to run on the GOP as to be the president. I say attempt because he was a nobody. Um, he's such a nobody that I didn't even know he was running for president and he's in my home state. That tells you where, where things are. Um, but we're going to go to the Hill. We're going to learn more about this. Now, this is from the Hill by Nick Robertson. This was uh, published yesterday on January 10th, 2024 at 2.47 p.m. Eastern Time. So your Texas man who filed more than two dozen challenges to former President Trump ballot eligibility was arrested on Tuesday on charges for alleging that he filed 17 sets of false documents to the IRS. 17 sets. Jonathan Antonio Castro was indicted last week on 33 counts of aiding the preparation of false tax returns. Prosecutors claimed that he ran a virtual tax preparation business and provided customers with tax returns beyond what they were actually owed, defrauding the government. Castro would promise significantly higher refunds and taxpayers could receive from other preparers on many occasions, offered to split the additional refund with taxpayers, prosecutors said in court documents. In order to achieve these larger refunds, Castro generated false deductions that were not based in facts and which were submitted without the taxpayer's knowledge. So, here's my whole issue. Clearly, he's an accountant. Clearly, he's a tax preparer. You know who's on the line for him doing this? His clients are. His clients are because ignorance is no excuse for the law when it comes to taxes. So, if you went to John Anthony Castro and he filed your, uh, your taxes, you may owe the government. You may owe back taxes for the government. And guess who is responsible for that? That is you, the taxpayer. I mean, that's, that's the unfortunate state of affairs that we have here in the United States. Even when you think you're doing it legitly and there's an error on behalf of the accountant, you are still responsible because it is your debt to the to the state. I think that's pretty messed up, if you personally. My personal opinion right there. As your Castro was busted by an undercover police officer, prosecutor outlined who posed as a customer for his tax services. While a reptile tax prep, uh, preparer promised to the undercover agent a $373 tax return. Castro instead claimed that he could get 
$6,007 and offered to split the difference in extra cash. Tax forms Castro then filed on behalf of the undercover officer contained nearly 30,000 in fraudulent claim deductions, prosecutors said. Uh, I mean, it's, it's outstanding that they caught him. Castro is also a 2024 GOP presidential candidate, a long shot bid that has gained little attention outside his legal challenges to Trump's ballot eligibility. Castro has filed challenges to Trump's ballot placement in 27 states, claiming that Trump's involvement in January 6th Capitol riots violates the 14th Amendment. That's fine. If you could make that claim. I understand why people make that claim. But we're, we're in a nation where due process is a thing. Just because you think he engaged in it, take it to court, prove that he's in court, and have a conviction. Let's see, he was indicted on the same day the ballot challenge in New Hampshire was dismissed. His attempt to also have been thrown out in Florida and most recently Nevada on Tuesday while multiple 14th Amendment suits remain pending, none have gained significant traction. However, other challenges to Trump's eligibility using the same arguments have succeeded with attempts in Colorado and Maine, both taking Trump off the state's ballots, pending action from the Supreme Court. The High Court said last week that it will hear the merits of the Colorado case. Uh, Missouri is threatening to take Joe Biden off the ballot as well. And there's some GOP members um, in Congress that want to pass a bill that would make it to where the Supreme Court has to rule on such cases to determine whether or not an insurrection is in, cured and whether or not candidates are eligible or not eligible. I don't know if that's a good idea. I mean, I understand their, their thought process. But with that being said, we're going to continue. Castro told The Hill that he denies wrongdoing and believes this case was politically motivated. No questions about it. Well, you know, <clears throat> you did, what, 27 challenges and you expect not to get notice? You don't think people are going to look into, into your history and see um, what you do as a, for, for your money? Um, I mean, it could be politically motivated because you made it politically motivated by going after Trump, which means that you're taking your, you're going out there, putting yourself out there and people are going to look into you because what you're doing is very interesting. And when you're very interesting, people want to know about you. And they found that you were corrupt, alleged, sorry, alleged corrupt tax firm, which you, I don't know how many clients this person had, but they're probably going to get audited and they're probably going to have to owe back taxes and you probably temporarily ruined their lives because who knows if they could afford it. He said his firm settled tax returns matter with the IRS in 2021, claiming that certain clients misinterpreted the tax law. So he's blaming the clients. If it was the clients, then why are you being arrested? Castro said that his firm paid back about $700,000 in 2021 to resolve discrepancies. I don't care if they offer me one day of probation and slap on the wrist in exchange for a guilty plea. He said this is going to trial and I'm going to convince all 12 jurors that I'm 100% innocent and this is a political retaliation. Why? Because you got caught by undercover police? Because the popo caught you. Caught you dirty? Um, are you saying that the cop was also politically motivated to make up charges against you? I mean, it's not the first time the cops did that. It's definitely plausible, but is it realistic? I don't think so. Castro claimed the prosecution is related to his 14th Amendment challenges against Trump due to the timing of the indictment. The alleged fraudulent returns were filed between 
2018 and 2020. So he admits that he's guilty. He pretty much admits that they were filed and then he filed them. He also said the stipulation of his release, keeping them inside Northern District of Texas without prior permission, can endanger the upcoming appearances for the 14th Amendment challenges in West Virginia, Kansas, and Montana. Montana. Well, you know, there's a one way to avoid all this, and that's not to screw over people. I mean, because you're screwing people over. Yeah, you may have paid their back taxes, or this was a fine, but you're screwing with people's lives. And that's not cool. You are just you're potentially destroying people's lives. Because no one wants to get a knock on the door saying this is the IRS, you owe us money. They don't want to receive that letter saying that they owed them money when they paid you good money, a $5,000 retainer to make sure that their taxes were legit. It is your job to make sure that they know the tax laws and know, and know where to you can deduct and where not to deduct. That's what they're paying you for. They're not paying you to be shady. Well, maybe some of them are paying you to be shady. But as were you, as a licensed tax preparer, should be a safeguard to prevent that from happening. You put yourself in this position by doing that. Let's hear Castro's due back in court in January 17th. I'm pretty sure it's a open, shut case against Mr. Castro. And I think a lot... Of I don't even know if this is even related to his 14th Amendment cases. They could have been, the, the police could have been on to you before you even decided to run for president. Or when you ran for president, someone looked into you, your business, filed a complaint, the police investigated, and they caught you red-handed. So, I have no sympathy for Mr. Castro. I hope he if the if he's found guilty and what he's saying and what the police are saying, what the criminal indictment is saying is true, and you're found guilty, you deserve prison time. I say anywhere between two to three years, maybe up to five years. Maybe not up to ninety nine years, but if that's what the crime punishment for the crime is, I have no sympathy for you. I really don't. I really don't have any sympathy for people that plague on people during tax season, offer them more money than they're owed from the government, thinking that you're a legitimate business to do tax preparation. I have no sympathy for those vultures. I already think paying 50 bucks for, what is it, Tax Act or whatever, the, whatever that one is in h &R Block, I already think that is an outrageous fee, which I have to pay 50 between 60 bucks a year because I own stock. Now, I could not own stock, and it will be a lot easier, but I wouldn't have the wealth I would have today. So it's a double-edged sword. I mean, that's just my personal gripe and probably just a terrible opinion that I think it costs too much even when I have to pay pay the government due to my my investments, but that's just my personal opinion, but I'm saying but a lot, and I shouldn't say but a lot, but that's alright. Because this is the end of the video. Leave a comment down below on what your thoughts are. Do you agree with me that people like Mr. Castro are vultures and scums and deserve everything that they get legally? Or is he out there being a Robin Hood that he, he pretends to be to get people extra extra scratch so they could afford to pay groceries or pay high rent or pay high high taxes on property. Or somewhere in the middle. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are. But most importantly, have yourself a wonderful day, morning, or evening.